Thank you. Yeah. Huh? Glory to God. Through Christ, confident, able, and ready to face any of life's challenges, I am confident that God will complete the good work He started in me. I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I am right standing with God, and I do not feel the end or I am the beloved child of God. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Amen. 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 You know what? Pastor Bland better come all up here and preach. Y'all get a Lord of Him praise for your pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We are just uh, ecstatic. Uh, I'm glad I got my head chilly to back. Amen. Most of y'all don't know it because you hadn't pastored. Uh, if you have, you had never let me know uh, and, and preach. But when, when black preachers preach, they like to hear like a little response back. They like to know it's somebody out there and hear them. What, they, what they're saying, and so we are just so thankful to the Lord. I want to call your attention, if you will, to a couple of uh, portions of scripture the Lord laid on my heart. First one being Philippians, Paul's epistle. Uh, for Moss, good to see you. Uh, I want to say <clears throat> in advance, I thank you so much you that uh, indulged my wife in her birthday and, and you came. It's not much of a party when nobody comes. And so I thank you so much. Um, we all think we're different, but we all basically, God made us with the same needs. And most of all, uh, Brother Tyrone is, most of all, we just want to be accepted for who we are. It's the best feeling in the world. And that's the reason that, you know, no matter how good a succulent a dish might be, no, nobody's food tastes like mama food. Let, let, let me explain. Uh, the reason is, is, is not that mama all that good a cook, even though we tell her that. Uh, it's the fact that when we get there, if, if, we, if we happen, to put our elbow up on the table, we don't we don't feel bad about it. Uh, if we don't use the right fork, uh, it's okay. We feel at home. We, we feel at home. And a friend of mine told me, Brother Moss, he said, Vandal, he said, it's a different world when you don't have a mother. He said, and I said, well, what, what you mean? He said, well, he said, long as you have a mother, you can go home. He said, but you can't go home anymore. But the thing about it is, is that the Bible says that if we only have hope in this life, 
then we are most miserable of all people. But Eric P., uh, we that have been reconciled back to God, we got a hope on the other side. It's a, fab. It, 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 it's a hope that baffles other people. How can she hold her head up? How, how can they go on? The old saints used to put it like this. They say something down inside. Keep telling me. When I want to give up. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. When, when you... When, when it look like all the odds are against you, when it look like that you're down for the count, God, uh, uh, Sister Clotilde, will send his Holy Spirit and say, I got you. Have I not told you? He had to tell his disciples, say, well, would I leave you like orphans? L let me tell you something. When somebody loves you, can't nobody... Pry, pry you away from it. Can't nobody pry you. And that's the reason I told my sons, I said, son, the woman that leave you, that ain't yours. That, that, that ain't yours. When you love somebody, you, you leave out the front door and come back through the back. And if they lock the back, you'll mess around and, and make a door in the side. Have you ever told somebody, you just told them, I just love you. I ain't got no reason to love you. You won't treat me right. You don't, but, but, but I, I just love you. Philippians, Philippians, let me, let me move on. Philippians, the fourth chapter and the eighth verse. Here the Bible says, Philippians 4 and 8, he said, Finally, brethren, I've instructed you. You've looked at me and you've seen my circumstance. They've locked me up for nothing. But yet, through three chapters, I've told you about the joy that I have. Let, let, let me tell you something. My frat brother sitting up here, he's one of my heroes because they indicted him in, on false charges. And, and, then, and, and then he had to be ridiculed. You know, with, with social media now, man, it ain't no... Ain't no little light thing or nothing like that. They can put it out there for everybody. You know, I'm going to tell you something. They, 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 the higher up you are, they love to see you fall. Oh, that, that does them some good. Lazy folks, they won't do nothing and get up and head, get nothing. And when they see you fall, that make them feel like this. Yeah, but he endured it. He, he endured it and, and, and everything. And you know what the devil means for evil, God meant for good. Uh, had been asking him to come out to the church, coming out to the church. But when they did that, and then he found a seat, and he got one here right now. <laughs> come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. God will use yes, sir. Yes, sir. what the devil means for evil. He'll mean this for you good. You're supposed to end up better, but you end up better. <laughs> David said, before I was afflicted, I went astray. I preached a message one time, I needed that whooping. Sometimes you need a whooping in order to straighten you up. Paul says, I, I, I've told you about how they did me. He said, but I still got joy. You see, because my source of joy, they thought my joy was the money. They thought my joy was folks clapping for me. They thought my joy was all the fame and the applause. But what they didn't know that I got a God on my side. That in the midnight hour, when everybody done gone to sleep, when I ain't thinking about him, he got me on his mind. And when I get at my lowest point, I got a leaning post. He come see about me and make sure that I'm all right. Mm. He said, again, I say unto you, Rejoice. Paul, what you mean by rejoice? What I mean about is, is that every one of us going to get some news that's going to throw water on our fire. Every one of us is going to be mistreated and set aside. He said, but rejoice is, is that when you ain't got no joy, 
Go back in your mind. Think about where the Lord brought you. Think about where the Lord brought you from. It's cricket when you didn't have food to eat. How God fed you. When you didn't have clothes like the other folk. How God clothed you. When it looked like your children wasn't going to be able to go to school. How God made a way out of nowhere. Just go back and think about where I brought you from. Rejoice. Go back and remix the joy that I gave you back in the younger years. And Mother Bland, when you go back and you rejoice, you can tell the people said that God have been good to me. Oh, I know what Mother Nunn talking about when she says sometimes, she said, you don't know him. You, you, you baby. She's not trying to, 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 to offend you. She's not trying to put down your experience. But baby, you haven't been where I've been. And the good thing about it, Yolanda, is it's not just to go. But God bless you to go and come back. You see, my wife, we're getting ready to celebrate 43 years. And, 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 and Brother Edgar loved his wife just like I love my wife. And, and, and then all of a sudden, suddenly, because of sickness, his wife was taken from him. And, 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 and so I can remember that Thanksgiving. She died in October. And Thanksgiving, he came over and he stood up there. And I saw the pain in his eyes. And I saw the grief that was in him. You see, Mother, that was a message. That was a message to me. The message was that as long, long as you got, you better appreciate. You better, you, you better appreciate. Because I've been somewhere. You ain't been, baby. <laughs> Paul saying, finally, brethren, and if you think this morning that it's a difference between you and somebody else in here, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> because the Bible says they have no temptation. I'm preaching right now. You waiting on me to preach. I'm preaching. They have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. And that's the reason the Bible, Brother Moss, tell us to rejoice with them that rejoice. And mourn with them that mourn. Because you see, Brother Goss, your time is coming. Let, let, let me see. The old saints put it this way. She said, there's a storm out over the ocean. And it, it's a coming this way. Make sure. Thank you, Jesus. Surely you should drift away. He said, finally, I got to move on. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good, report. You see, Brother Eric, see, you, 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 got, you got to regulate your mind. See, you think Satan is after your car. Look at your neighbor and say, the devil after your man. <laughs> he'll get it sitting right up here. He'll, he'll get it sitting right up in here. Brother Garner in the holy church. He, he will get your man if you don't guard your man. Our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God, through the pulling down. He said, whatsoever things are just of good report, he said, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Turn, if you will, over to the uh, 19th chapter. Uh, yeah. 
What nineteenth chapter? I think it is. Of Acts. Oh, Acts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, nineteen in Philippians. Y'all, y'all Bible scholars. <laughs> It's actually the 20th chapter. 20th chapter. 20th chapter. Philippians 4 and 8. The last thing I wrote read to you, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me and the God, and the God of peace shall be with you. I'm going to go ahead and take my subject and I'm, I'm almost through. Very grateful today. Uh, look at your neighbor. Look him right dead in the eyes. It's kind of long, but bear with me. Tell him, say, I have so much. To thank the Lord for. Everybody don't need to do that. Everybody don't need you don't. Mm, 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 mm. It's about three or four folk that need to get up and walk to somebody that need to hear it and tell them. Say, I have. You don't understand. I have. You don't understand. I have so much to thank the Lord for. I, I have, I have so, I have so, I run up out of here. I have, I have, oh, I have so much to thank. You don't know him. I wish you knew what I was talking about. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, all right, y'all about to cut up now. Yeah, all right, all right. Y'all, y'all gonna turn it out? No, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. I know it. I know it. I know. I have. When I look back over my life and I think things over, huh? The songwriter said, uh, he said, all of my good days, I'll weigh my bad days. I'll, 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 I'll run up out of here. Look at somebody and tell them, say, I didn't come to play with you today. I ain't, I ain't come here to play with you today. Mm -mm. I ain't come here to look at these. Ain't my best clothes. You, you sit up there looking at my clothes. These ain't my best clothes. I didn't come to play with you today. But I have so much. God been too good for me to let Satan defeat me. You see? When Jesus was getting ready, Mother Nun, to go to the cross, People as they are want positions and everything. And the mama came to him, James and John, and the son of Borgenes, said, when you come into your kingdom, can my sons sit with you? And he turned and he asked her. He said, can you stand to be baptized with the baptism, which I am, a baptism of fire? I tell a mother nun, don't feel sorry for me. I, what I'm going through, I got to go through it. But when God get through with me, I'm coming out as pure gold. And Sister Levette, when I come out, I ain't going to come out talking about what vanity. did. But when I come out, I'm going to come out talking about what the Lord I have, I'm sorry, I, I preached a deep sermon for y'all. I, I know, I, <clears throat> Lady Deborah have to tell me sometimes, she's a, she's a pastor, the teaching is good, but sometimes we just need to know the Lord will make a way. We, we, we black folks, sometimes we just, Lord have mercy Jesus, just let me know that God is still with me. Let me know God ain't forgot about me. Let me know he's the same God. Uh, I, I, I don't need but one witness. Is he a deliverer? 
Is he a way maker? Is he a mind regulator? Is he a healer? Jesus. I have so much to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for. Uh, uh, Acts 20. Acts 20 and 17. Y'all with me? So I have my time about writing everything. We don't have no more than 10 minutes left. No way. Okay. Here the Bible says here, uh, 20 and 17. Here Paul says, and from Miletus, he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church. You see, what people don't understand about you is that you are not your own. And what they don't understand is this is not new to you. Before you even knew what you know now, God knew you. Oh, make it plain. Before you was formed in your mother's womb, God ordained your purpose. Now, the process isn't pretty. Getting there, it don't look like you're going where you're going. And that's the reason the Bible said that the just shall live by faith. The Bible, Clotilde says that they toiled all night. Yet, they didn't get any fish. But Jesus walked up on them. Didn't even know him like that. And they didn't know him. But Jesus says, do you have any meat? Says, no, we've been toiling all night and we ain't been able to pray. You been there? Everything that I'm doing don't seem like nothing coming to nothing. Tried my best. I done talked to him. I done been nice as I could. Look like don't nobody want to hear nothing I got to say. Yeah. Jesus said, cash your net on the up. Cash your net on the other side. Leave them alone. And trust me. The disciple says, ain't nothing we done work. But nevertheless, at your word, I'm going to trust you. And they cast the, the casting on the other side of Monique. And that was such a draw of fish that it broke. Oh, it's about three folks sitting up here now. Don't you run up. Don't you run up out of here because it's just good. You know what? He gave Jacob a limp to keep him in place. And I'm going to tell you what. That my, my knee will go on out because I promise you. I be done run up out of here while I'm preaching. He says here, 20 here, I got to finish, I got to move. He says, and when they will come to him, he said unto them, you know from the first day that I came into Asia after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations which befell me by the line in wait of the Jews. Pastor, please, put a pen right there. Uh, let, let me tell you this right here. Our offenses will come. Uh, and they're meant to hold you down and to keep you in that place. You, you're meant to sing the old blues song. Why am I treated so bad? But you know what? You overcome evil with good. And you think about what Paul said when Paul says, and we know that all, I have so much to thank the Lord for. You see, when Joshua got ready to take them over into the promised land, whoo, Jesus, let me say, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You got something so great within you, but you see, the reason that it hurts so much and the reason there's so much suffering with it because at the end of the day, you're going to have to be able to second from conviction. It was not me, but it was the Lord. All right. All right. 
Paul told the Corinthians, he said, I was pressed beyond measure. God going to make sure all your strength is gone. Because, you know, he's not no co-pilot, Eric. He running everything. Until God is everything, he ain't nothing. And so everything got to be gone. I can't, Lord, you know what? I wasn't looking for You ever had a lick that you got you wasn't looking for? You ever had a storm that it appears suddenly? The sun was shining. It looked like every, I have so much. To, I have so much to thank you. But Sister Madden, my testimony is, is that not so much that he had brought me from a long way, but he brought me you don't know why. I wish you knew it. He brought me all, all the way. Hmm? He brought me from couldn't to can't. He brought me. Thank you. L let me finish this right here. I'm just happy that's what it is. He says, and how I kept back nothing from you, but taught and showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house. Verse 21, testifying both to the Jews. Give me this last four or five minutes. Let to the Jews. What verse I'm in, Deborah? Lost myself. 21. And also to the Greeks, repentance toward God. I used to think that repentance, surely, toward God was saying, God, I ain't going to sin no more. And I know I was lying in. But repentance simply means a change of mind. Repentance, Madeline, simply means, God, I got that right lick. I got that right whooping. I now understand that there ain't but one God. And that's you. So I'm changing my mind about my ability to run my life. I don't know how. I don't know where. I don't know, I don't know who I'm supposed to be with. I don't know how long I'm supposed to stay there. I, I don't know when I'm supposed to change. I, 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 I don't know. And that's the reason that people that didn't have as much education as we have, people that didn't have the money and the resources that we have, did better than we doing. Because you see, they understood they had to depend upon God. They, they, they understood that, you see, but see, we done got so much, we done got so smart, that now we know. And see, God can't help you until you don't know nothing. But until you cry out and you say, God, help me. Because I can't help my, I understand my helplessness. I, you back me up against a wall. I'm in a straight place. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I'm, you know, I thank him for that day, Mother, that he put me in a place. You know, I, well, I got the, the best mama in the world. I'm, and I, know, I hope you think that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't care what my daddy said. I don't care what Deborah said. Uh, nobody said if my mom could reach out and put her hand on me, she was gonna do it. Oh, glory! I got so much to thank the Lord for. But one day, one day God put me somewhere where Mama couldn't reach me. One day God put me somewhere where no human help could help me, and I had to look to the hills from whence cometh my help. And when I look. He was right there all the time. I have so much to thank the Lord for. Three minutes. Okay, okay. He says, verse 21, 22, and now, behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem. My wife and Vanna Jr. talk about me sometime, Renee. They said, Daddy, 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 Daddy he so, he talk about death. He talk about, look, death don't scare me. Death don't scare me. I'm trying to learn how to live. If we have your funeral, and they got to have a GoFundMe, a raise money for your funeral and everything, I haven't done my job. You ought to be preparing. You ought to be preparing. You ought to be preparing for leaving here. The old people said, said this, place, this, this world is not my home. They said, wear it like a loose garment. 
While you're here, Clotilde, you got one purpose, and that is to help one another. It ain't for you to see how much stuff that you can accumulate, how much, because I promise you, they are not going to put that stuff in the casket with you. They may act like they're putting that Rolex on you, but before... Brown probably got about seven or eight on his way. Somebody gonna get that Rolex. It ain't going in the ground. He says here, we are most true. Say that the Holy Ghost witness in every city, saying that bonds and affliction are by me. Look at verse 24, and we going on home. But none of these things move me. Mother, none. I'm like Solomon. When Solomon said, I found the love of my son. You see, it ain't up on the mountaintop where you're learning. Uh, I, I hate to tell you this right here. It ain't up on the mountaintop. Where you, 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 don't, you don't know him up on the mountaintop. But it's now in Sorrow Valley. When you got nobody to go to. That's when you know him for yourself. I'm, I'm getting ready to finish, but Job says, I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear. You see, what I've been through, I don't wish it on nobody. I don't, I don't wish this on you. But I can tell you this right here. There's not a ditch too deep, too nasty for him not to roll up his knees. And what I love about him, Lady Deborah, he's something on this. What I love about him is, you know, it's one thing when folks send somebody at you. But the Bible says that when Van der Blaine was in trouble, he himself. I have so much. I can't preach no more. Clap your hands for that. 